Hey guys, welcome back to 824 Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to test your starter motor and solenoid. What you will need for this test is a fully charged 12 volt battery, some jumper cables, some alligator clips, and a screwdriver. I will do this test with a screwdriver just to show it can be done with as simple tools as possible. Today I have two starter solenoid combos here with me. One I am pretty sure is bad, and the other one I know is functioning properly. I'm just going to test them both to show you how a good starter should function compared to the bad one. Pretty much all of these starters will be designed the same. The top smaller piece is called the solenoid, the larger casing is your starter, and at the end of the starter you'll see this gear that cranks your engine when you get in your car and turn the key to start your engine. So the way almost all starters work is on the back of the solenoid you're going to have three posts. You'll have a larger post that will have a thick cable running to it to supply a constant 12 volts from the battery source. The second larger post right next to it is typically wired directly into the starter. This is the wire that supplies the starter 12 volts from the solenoid. Lastly, there will be a smaller post on the terminal that will have a single wire running to it. This terminal is only engaged or supplies 12 volts from the ignition switch when you turn your key to the start position. The ground on the starter is your engine block with the two mounting bolts that run through the starter into the engine block. Before even starting this test, make sure to inspect each post very closely for corrosion. Clean each post with very fine sandpaper and clean the wire going from the solenoid to the starter if corrosion is found. This first starter I'm going to test I'm almost certain is bad, but it's a good demonstration to show one that doesn't work. So the first step to the test is to attach our jumper cables to the battery source. Red to positive, black to negative. Next take the other end of your jumper cables and attach the black or ground to the outer casing of the starter. I use one of the spots where the mounting poles for the bolts are on the starter. Make sure to get a good clean connection. Next take your red lead on your jumper cables for constant power and attach it to the large post for the constant power on the solenoid. Do not attach to the post where the wire is running into the starter. Attach to the constant power post as seen in the video. Next we need to supply 12 volts to the terminal post, simulating a signal from the ignition switch like someone is trying to start the car. Now you can do this with alligator clips, but again I'm going to use a screwdriver to show it can be done with just a screwdriver. You put one end of your screwdriver on the ignition switch terminal post and then just touch the red jumper cable for constant 12 volt power while the screwdriver is still touching the terminal post. As you can see the starter does not work. If you have a good working starter and solenoid this gear will come out and spin. If you do this test and this gear just spins in place but it doesn't come out, that means the starter motor is doing its job spinning the gear, but the solenoid is not working and not pushing the gear out. Now on the other hand, if the gear pops out but does not spin, that means the solenoid is working but the starter motor is more than likely shot. So in this case that I have here with this starter, more than likely the starter motor is shot. Alright, on to the second starter that I have here that I know works properly. Again, attach the black jumper cable to the outer casing of the starter motor again making sure that it's a good clean connection then attach the red jumper cable to the constant power post of the solenoid and use your screwdriver in the same way as before as you can see the starter is working correctly the gear comes out and spins very rapidly this is a good starter i hope you find this video helpful if you'd like to subscribe like and share this video so the channel can grow i would appreciate it thank you for watching